what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are going on a little day trip to Newport it's about an hour away from where we live in Venice we've decided that we want at least one day of our weekend to be a fun day where we have no plans and actually are just chilling not working so yeah that's kind of what we're trying to make Sundays so today we woke up, basically the first thing we do as soon as we wake up is I throw on my bikini and we take check-in photos and Ryan will help me film while I film to send to my coach and then we had breakfast together so we made a little veggie hash as always and we had George Howell coffee. I will link it below because if you haven't tried this coffee it's literally the best coffee on the face of this earth. Uh, can you agree? Yeah. Ryan is a coffee snob so I found it from him. I discovered it in Boston. Oh yeah, so he usually goes and like visits Boston for work. And what was the place that they, what is Clover yeah, what or something? Clover, yeah. Yeah. So they like sell this coffee called George Howell and it's amazing. So we had George Howell coffee and that was kind of special. I guess after, we usually do check-ins and then just try to send them off right away in the mornings. But today we're going to do them a little later just because we wanted to get on the road and get adventuring. But yeah, we're going to go check out Fashion Island and then maybe go to the beach and Ryan wanted to get a beer and he actually tracks too I and mean, he works with Austin so we're like a physique development household and he's been making so much progress so I'm super psyched. What would you say about Austin the last 10 weeks? What's your experience? It's been awesome. He I'm raves very, about him. I'm very sore. <laughs> he's very sore all the time. He's like, Austin murdered my delts. <laughs> and actually it's not fair. He's literally grown delt caps in I swear to god like 12 weeks and I'm out here on two years working on them so I'm excited for his physique just this whole year it's gonna be wild this week in prep I moved to a metabolic style of training which is basically really short rest periods and supersetting everything so I have to be kind of a dick in the gym and very intentional of trying to make sure I can get two pieces of equipment next to each other and doing everything really fast so I, ha I didn't really film my exercises this past week, so I'll try this week to kind of show you guys more what those workouts are looking like. But I'm really loving that this training phase, and it's actually like a lot more upper body. I have three upper body days and two lower body days, and I'm just psyched because on Mondays I get to start my week with an upper body day, and I get to, on Saturdays, wake up Saturday morning and just hit gold, which is closer than my other gym, and then just hit an arm day in the sun. And it was freaking lovely and my biceps are still really sore. This week, in terms of food and energy level with prep, I've felt really, really good. Energy's been high. Food has actually stayed the same, which I was surprised by, but I'm still losing weight, so that's cool. And I would say the prep hack that I did this week was ordering coffee over cardio. They have macro-friendly creamers and they're called hydrates. It's basically just a sugar salt thing to put in your coffee, of electrolytes basically. And I've been putting that in my coffee and just getting iced coffee basically between breakfast and lunch and that has helped kind of just suppress my appetite between then so I can have a later lunch and with having a later lunch I haven't been hungry at all and I've been able to save enough calories for dinner and like not feel really too hungry at all. This week it was the end of my cycle and that has also been nice and I felt a lot more energy and we've been sleeping better. When you say? You put Ruby in your crate. Yeah, Ruby, my Frenchie, usually sleeps in the bed with us, sleeps in Ryan's crotch. She's just kind of been getting up a lot in the middle of the night and she's been really picky and won't eat her food at all during the day, but then at 3 a.m. we'll wake up and then eat all of her food. So he is a really light sleeper and will wake up. And so we've just been like, yeah, let's just put her in the crate this week. And it's actually helped a lot. We've been getting a lot better sleep. So that also helps with the hunger and just feeling good. I would say this week cardio has been a little bit of a struggle. So I do cardio four days a week for 30 minutes. And I sort of put it off to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> Backloaded my cardio this week. And last night I had to do it at 9 p.m. I was not feeling it. But you know what? We got it done. What else are we doing today? We're going to go grocery shopping because we finally got through all of our veggies. <laughs> you know, we, we've been loving doing the veggie roasts. What would you say about our veggie roast during work? Sometimes to hit my breakfast macros is too much food to consume. Yeah, exactly. Eating high volume has kept me feeling really full and it's eating real food. It's eating Brussels sprouts and bell pepper. And I know it sounds really simple, but I guess last prep I relied a lot on like protein powders and protein bars. 
so it just kind of feels good um, to be eating this way and I just feel better so yeah prep has not been feeling very hard I will say that like these past two weeks I have like slipped up on posing I haven't been posing every day so Basically, I guess the thing that I'm really focusing on this week is giving myself enough time to be successful. And what I mean by that is giving myself enough time in the morning to get my session done, to do my cardio so that I'm not backloading it and doing it on the weekends or late at night. Because let's be honest, the deeper you get into prep, if you put off your cardio sessions, those are the moments when you cry and it just sucks because you're so tired. And so for me, I've always done so much better when I just get everything I need to do done in the morning. For me, it's like giving myself enough time. It will help me really embody the person I want to be and showing up as, you know, a professional, like as a pro athlete, leaving yourself enough time to do what you need to do in the morning of doing your session, doing your posing, doing your cardio, and just not leaving anything on the table that you need to stress about all day. One thing, I know I talked about this last week that my coach gave me like a step goal to try to be more active, but I, I will say that working from home I only have meetings in the morning, earlier in the morning, and then meetings in the evening. And so my day can feel pretty long and monotonous, and the step goal has totally changed everything for me because basically in order for me to hit 7,000 steps outside of my cardio, I have to go on a walk every hour or so, even if it's just a quick 10 minute walk down the street. And so I've been going on these 10 minute walks, and it's just really, really helped my productivity at work. and keeping my mind clear. So I think one of the ways that's helped me show up more at work is just going on these walks. It's such a simple thing to do. Like it's so easy. Anyone can do it from anywhere. So highly encourage the walks. And also like if you're on prep too, like keeping your neat up exercise can suppress hunger signals and you just feel better and digest your food better in between feedings. Cause I know that <laughs> If you're a bikini competitor, you're probably like me and eat six meals a day. So it feels like you're kind of constantly eating and going on these walks can actually like help with digestion a lot. All right, yeah, I will stop rambling, but I'm just off to have a lovely day with my boy and we're gonna relax and chill. I we just got to Newport and I brought a prep lunch. Focus, there we go. It's beefless crumbles and shredded lettuce and bitchin' chipotle sauce and some salsa. And what do you have, Ryan? Wait, show them. I got potatoes, bell pepper, mm. clean south vegan buffalo, onion, garlic. Yeah. Yum. I haven't been since I was like a kid and I got these Ray-Bans which I've wanted forever so splurged a little bit but I feel cute I like them what do you think they look cute and got some makeup at Ulta but um, right now we just stopped at a Whole Foods I brought this like beam shake and I just mixed it with water so I'm having a little protein shake right now and I got these Ashra Pops for the drive home or something. What did you get? Got a Pro Bar. So Ryan actually tracks to everything, which makes it like really nice that we're both kind of like on the same page. Nice coconut water. So that he's not trying to like eat out at restaurants while I'm trying to like, you know, bring macro friendly things. So we're about to go to the pier and go head on the beach and just have some like 
us time, no distractions. Just walk. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Oh wait, I also got, where's that coffee? Oh yeah, oh. I got this, um, what is it called? Volant, local. Toasted. It's not focusing. Focus. <laughs> Volant toasted coconut coffee. So I'm gonna try this. I'll do a live try. Nice. Yo, that's pretty good. I feel like with a little cashew milk or almond milk, it would be like next level, but it's very good. I hate flavored coffee usually. That's pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. All right, we will see you on the beach. here for you guys to see. I'm really excited about my upper body coming through and just kind of how it will develop over the next couple weeks in this training stimulus. video make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one